All right, man, let's talk about uh, WBA uh, order Ugas to Fox Deonis, and now Heyman Bag can't persuade the WBA to do anything different. So let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, my social media links in the description. And um, they ordered the purse bid, and Ugas going to have to either drop the belt or Fox Deonis, okay? Either or. Um, I don't really care for the fight. I don't feel like Deonis has, has earned the fight, um, to earn his opportunity, no other uh, champion in boxing. That was had the WBA situation like Ugas had to go through this. All right. And um unfortunately, you know, Ugas gotta go through this. And is there a racism and inconsistency because he a Cuban? Uh, absolutely. Boxing hate Cubans. We all know that, don't we? Historically, professional boxing hates them. Even the fans, some of the fans say, oh, they boring, they don't do this, they don't do that. And some of these fans consider they so fans of boxing, you gotta be. Fans of the art, you know, just like basketball. You got some people that shoot the three, some people that dunk, some people that lay up, some people that shoot. You, you enjoy the different styles of physicality, whatever it may be. We enjoy the physical styles of the sport. Pretty sure it's the same thing in soccer, the same thing in other sports, right? For instance, WA notified Ugas and Stionis, a person bid is scheduled for their welterweight title fight December 19th in Miami. Minimum bid is 200K, split is 75, 25, and Ugas' favorite. The winner has to fight Buddha, 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 Buddha. I call him better boo I don't care. So, yeah, you know, you know, stopping that spin shit real quick. I know Spence is like, why tell me why? Why do you do me now? Because Spence said he want to fight for a title. Now, who got out the way? Now, you know, it's blood turn. But, you know, we'll we talk about that a little bit later. He out there barking. You know, even here, how your solo, brother? But, um, but yeah, hilarious to me, man. Good. Good. Fuck that. Ugas ain't about to go. Yeah, that boy three bells day was hit me on the uh, Instagram. He said it's business, it's business. I don't understand it's business, but I'm fine if the fight don't have a tweet card for the spin. Yeah, I'm I'm at peace with it. I've been I said that before. But if I report if it don't happen, I don't care. I've seen enough great fights in my lifetime, you know, at their boiling point and not, you know, after not after the buffet shut down and it's cold. I've seen enough. I know what a great fight looked like. So, you know, these these new fans don't know what great fights and be in the moment. You have better fights before motherfuckers come to the ring in real 50-50 fights. And it's ain't even a 50-50 fight no more. I'm talking about the percentages to win. Earl Spence, I said it a long time ago, man. Earl Spence chances of dueling, like, you know, because he getting he not comfortable with the weight no more. You know, that's exactly what it is. He he's a sitting duck. He got nothing for Bud. Unless Bud just come out there and get old overnight. He gonna get destroyed. You know, if he was smart, he'd drag that nigga up to 54. <laughs> But, you know, this eliminates that, you know, for here and now. I mean, these niggas fight once or twice a year. So, who got done for 2022? So, like Biggie say, and, uh, uh, with uh, Bone Thugs, notorious, notorious Thugs, like, what you going to do, Earl? Fight a run. Going to hide behind a split? You got a Hispanic nigga a good, a good split, right? You going to hide behind a split? You gave Porter a good split. You gave Hispanic nigga a good split. You know, you gave Danny a good split. There ain't none of them bringing what Crawford bring to the table. Danny ain't never done no pay-per-view. Sean ain't never done no pay-per-view. Mike ain't done no pay-per-view. And then you trying to ham Crawford. That's just a defense mechanism. That's just the wall y'all putting up. I see Crawford prove that he's different from y'all. So it's just about the hardware now and getting the rest of the money that's on the floor. You know, he's vocal. You know, he, you know, first they were saying, oh, he didn't want to fight him. He didn't want to fight him. Cool. Then Crawford, Crawford won't say he won't fight him. Crawford said he wanted to fight him. Then they put up another beer. Oh, he got there this. Crawford destroyed Sean Porter. Now it's this, like I said before, man. Earl got a lot of fans, man. A ton of fans. Cool. Like I said, I, I don't have I don't have a need to watch this fight no more. It's been it's been cooled down. It's been cold. And WBA just throw some more water on it. So really, if they got to fight for all the belts, then you got to wait till late 2022 or 2023. They said this tournament is supposed to be over by March. It, Ugas, instead of Ugas going around bitching, complaining, and pouting around on Twitter about what's going on, they can get in the ring. If you get if you would have gotten the ring in December, I don't care how quick your turnaround is. You enjoy your money. Had you gotten the ring, right? Had you got your ass in the ring, we we be talking about you and Spence fighting in April, May, June. But you did. You sitting around, bitch, you could play. That's like you know procrastinating on doing something that you don't want to do around the house. I like, mean, I don't feel like you know patching this roof up, or I don't feel like cleaning the gutters out. When you bitch could play for weeks, hours, months, and then it get to the get to the point where it's it's, 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 it's going to put in more work. It's, it's getting worse and worse. And then you sitting out there instead of for an hour or two, you sitting out there for two, three days trying to fix some shit. Don't complain about it. You, you and Stanley should have been in the ring, bro. You fought in September. Take October, November off. 
You know, you should be in the ring by January. You really should be in the ring by December. You should have turned around quick as hell. You know, took uh, October, took October off, trained back in November. In the first week of January, you should have been out there, but you didn't. He said the welterweight champ Crawford and Spencer are making Hall of Fame careers. It is an honor to be a champ in this era as them. Hopefully Crawford comes to premier box champion and has a great tournament. You know, undisputed, it would be a great gift for all the fans. Like, man, I don't need no tournament. You know, I whoop on Spence. That's what I came to do. If you want to get in line and get beat up too, by, by far, it's cool. But right now, you on hold. So, you know, what, what we and Spence going to do? If not, I mean, come, like I said, the, the food is cold. We're not at the buffet when it, when it come out there and it's scorching hot. You know, you wait to eat your McDonald's fries till you got home. Now they lukewarm. I'm cool with it. Don't care about nothing. I got to come over there to fight y'all. What, what, what sense do that make? I make good money where I'm at. I can make good money by myself. Fighting around. What, I don't need you niggas. Y'all need me. Your company one that's going under the boat. I retired today. I'm a Hall of Fame. Okay, say the same thing about you two. Can't put Errol Spence in the Hall of Fame. Is Donald Curry in there? You know, you know, I'm not sure. You know, you're not in the Hall of Fame. No matter how much you like this nigga, he ain't did shit in the Hall of Fame. Right? At least Sean did something irregular. Sean fought everybody. No bitch and complaining, none of this, that, and the third. You know, he fought, he fought everybody. You know, they got exceptions to the rule tour. Gotti, Barry McGuinn, and Rocky Bell Boyd. With all exceptions, Sean Porter fought everybody. He fought everybody in a, in a good time frame. Now, Uber's going around here. Oh, you should get in the tournament. Like, nigga, I don't need you. I don't need him. Why well, I got to cross the street? You worry about B. Stay on as a better boy. Because I think B. 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 F. That's his name. But 2 F will, will beat you. But 2 F will beat you. And the thing about it is, he might let Stay on this beat you because he fight down to the level of his opposition. That's why he don't want to fight. And it's for sure. When the, finance, the money he make versus with 2 F and uh, Stay on this, you know. You know, come on, man. He can make 10 of that versus Earl. To what the minimal purse bit is 200000 Why PBC ain't put this together? Indisputed. It's undisputed, nigga. I mean, maybe he meant to be indisputed. It is. Oh, it would be great if he come over. Why the fuck I got to come over there when I don't know nobody? I can get robbed, you know? Dude, so we knock everybody. We still get robbed. Knock I seen it with, with Lucian Boutte in, in Canada. When Andrade, you know, knocked him out. Not that Andrade, but and then they gave him smelling, so I bet <laughs> Game like a 10, 13, 15 count. Seen it before. Seen it all before. So, man, why I come over there? You know, if the money right and everything right, fair, cool. But who got some trouble? Danger. Get on the blow. Stay on this right here. <laughs> Danger. Danger. I know. Here you go. Go ahead. No, you don't hear trouble, baby. About to get fucking somebody gonna be bring him out his frame. He's gonna be, be two ev or to me, Sionis is booty juice, man. He come on, man. He trash. Come on, man. He ain't even a half track. He ain't even an eight ball. I mean, he trash. He can't even get high. He garbage. I don't even know how he got this opportunity. How? Come on, man. What Bushy say? One hit, sing, one hit, one that's getting rich off of singles. What's up, Michael Vick? Tell the judge and kid did in his read. Come on, he said, What up, Michael Vick? Vick, don't snitch. Tell the judge and did in his read. Come on, man. Give a fuck about Oog. Strip Oog got put the put the belt on the line for Crawford and, 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 and Earl. Want to tell now, Earl about to fight a tune up. Gonna be another contradiction, but I'm gonna get to Earl and Bullet a little bit later about this. But it's what it is, Oog guys. You know, don't feel sorry for you. Don't feel sorry for you. Do what you gotta do. You know, don't nobody feel sorry for us when the, when the oppression that black people go through in America. Y'all y'all laugh and say, oh, y'all had this opportunity, that opportunity. I ain't trying to hear that. I don't care. That's his struggle. This is my fight, son. Ass nigga. You in trouble. Trouble. Person paid power, Bernie Mac. You in trouble. Using troubles, boys. So... But it is what it is. Let me know what you guys and girl, girls and guys think. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You have business question card response to your video quest on my social media there. Twitter's the fastest way on Facebook and Instagram. Other than that, appreciate the love and support. Uh, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Want to make a financial donation? Cash app, CJ Good313, Venmo, CJ Good313, PayPal in the description. Like I said before, try the box, Mr. Welterweight playlist. Peace.